Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to edit the profile of a of a surface. And uh, the surface that I'm going to be showing you specifically in this one is going to be a wall. In fact, it's going to be this exterior wall for this alcove that I modeled. This is kind of a practice building, but uh, what it is, I put in this alcove in here, and the desire here is to make this accessible to the first floor, but not the second floor. So I'm going to make a cutout on this wall, and uh, this uh, rectangular cutout, and uh, we're going to uh, you know, just take out that wall and uh, leave it open for people to come into. Uh, another option here, too, is to be able to cut out the whole wall, perhaps from the, from the third floor all the way down, in order to put in a different wall. I mean, that is an option. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, exercise that too, and I'll show you how to do that perhaps in the next video. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, a good approach for this is to um, go to the first floor. It's nice to be able to see square on views. And what I'm going to do here, what I've done, uh, you might want to try this too, is put in a section view in here in order to view uh, what you're going to be looking at. So I put in a section view, a uh, north south section. We're going to be looking west, and uh, we're going to go ahead and look at that wall and see what we need to do to it. So if you don't have the perspective, you don't uh, if you can't really see if, if the scope of your section really doesn't show the whole wall, and the wall happens to be smooth, you might want to pull these out a little bit in order to see more of your wall. Um, uh, a wall is selectable if you select on the line that's associated with that wall. So with this wall with pl plenty of brick on it, it's easy easy to select. Some walls are smooth, may not have a whole lot of lines. You'll have to migrate to the edge of that wall in order to select it. So we'd be migrating to perhaps an area like that. So once you do that, once you select your wall, it'll automatically take you up here to the tab, uh, the modified tab in the mode panel, and uh, you want to go to, go ahead and edit the profile. What it does is it gives you a large uh, magenta rectangle which represents, you know, the furthest extent of that wall, and we can shorten that wall this way. Uh, we can add additional elements to it, or we can make cuts into it. And just to represent a cut, I'm going to do a circle right here in the middle and sketch that out and go ahead and rebuild it with the green check mark up here on the mode panel on the modif modify tab and you can see what it did is it uh, created a circular uh, cut in that wall. Go back to my 3D view and we can take a look at that and see what that looks like. So what we're looking at is the first floor, uh, you know, the kids have to jump over that, uh, you know, that three foot rise in order to get over here but uh, it does open up to the second floor too. may not be what we're looking for necessarily but uh, let's go ahead and uh, edit the profile and go ahead and take out that circle again. And if we rebuild it, it'll uh, take out that circle and take out that hole. So the way this works, and I'll go back down to my section view, and it's good when you put your section views together that you name it adequately so you can find it over here. And with the expectation that when you're putting your drawings together that you have something that's descriptive uh, enough that people know what they're looking at when they're uh, going through your drawings. So everything you put over here in your project browser eventually will uh, make it make its way into drawings. So side rim west, this is my side rim. Viewing west is how I uh, how I uh, you know, interpret that. It's how I read it. And that was the intent. So now we're going to go back in here. We're going to edit that profile again. So we're going to click on the wall, edit a profile, and this time we're going to uh, select the edges of the existing wall and the floor up here too in order to make that cut. So uh, if you haven't done this, if you have bold lines in here, for, for instance, like that, it makes it difficult to select the proper line that you're looking at. Uh, you, what I'm like, what I'm uh, trying to do is uh, select the, you know, the, you know, the finished face exterior line on the inside of the of the wall rather than uh, the core face interior. And if you see these bold lines, you can get rid of those by going up here to your, uh, to your quick access toolbar and clicking on thin lines. So up here in our modify uh, panel, in our draw uh, panel up here in our modify tab, what you want to do is click pick lines. You want to click existing geometry, you're not really picking lines, but you're picking planes in order to draw a line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot in here, I'm going to pick uh, the finished face exterior of that wall, I'm going to pick the bottom of the floor up here. If you don't have a floor in here, you might want to just pick floor two and you can make modifications to that later. But since I want that wall to go uh, up to the you know, bottom of that floor, I'm going to go ahead and click on that line. I'm going to go back over here and click on, again, the, the finish face uh, interior of that line, of that uh, plane, or put that line in. Okay, now we're going to trim it out. This is a good tool. Again, we're still up here in our Modify tab, our Modify area. We're going to go to Trim, Extend the Corner. And what you do when you're uh, selecting these elements in here, especially when you're dealing with lines, you want to click on the lines that you want to keep. 
So that's one line we want to keep. That's one line we're going to keep, and it trimmed out around it. Again, on this side, that's a line we want to keep. That's another line we want to keep. It's going to trim out around it. Now, if we try to rebuild this, it's going to ask us or wonder, do you want to make this a void in here? Do you want to make that substance? Do you want to put a wall in here? Do you want to put a, an opening in there? Just because uh, when it comes across this line, it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to put in a void. But when it crosses this line, if it tries to put a substance in here, down here, it would just fill in everything else that's on the outside of that. So what we have to do is we have to trim out that line. And just to show you that error, we go to the green check mark here, and we'll, you know, give you a choice. So those lines cannot intersect each other. So we have a choice. We quit sketching, and it'll take out all, all those additional uh, uh, edits we put in there, or we can continue sketching and try to fix this. So we'll have to go up here to our Modify tab and uh, select down a couple of these elements in here in order to get this fixed. Uh, one of them could be like our split element. We could split the element here, split the element over here, which is that line. With the escape key uh, twice, we're going to pick on uh, that line and take that out. And we have some lines in here that aren't uh, quite uh, connected. And if, again, if we do the green check mark, it's not going to like us. We're going to go ahead and continue sketching. We can take these lines by way of those grips and pull that back. And do the same thing over here, pull this back until we get that snap in place, which is the endpoint snap. So now that uh, now it becomes continuous. So we have continuous geometry. geometry. We have enclosed geometry. So when it starts uh, filling this in, it's going to run into the line and put a void in here and not have that uh, error that we had before. So now if we go to the green check mark, Bang, we have that open. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. So now it's a little bit open. It may not be apparent right away, but if you turn your model a little bit, you can see that it does open up. You can see our first floor in there. It might be good, and I'll save this for another video, but it might be good to go ahead and take out that whole wall section that goes all the way to the top, and then fill that in with another wall. Uh, perhaps an interior wall, and then you can design your uh, floor opening or your door opening or your passageway opening in that. So thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll look for you in other films.